Good morning, everyone. This is kind of like part two of a Brandonautica experience that I had. Um, and I'll pin that in the comments below. This is the owl that I found. And this is the uh, pouch with the money. And I also have the two letters that were with it. Um, one was like a poem and the other letter was like instructions of how to write a letter of intent to the universe. Um, so this is the full moon last night. Uh, there was a super pink moon. And um, I wanted to show everybody that I followed the instructions on that letter last night. Um, this is the whole video showing you that. I'm getting everything ready, making sure that I have what the what her, this person's instructions were. I'm assuming it's a female because the last time I was set on a randonautica on a full moon, um, I seen a female running away from this area. And um, if you go to my randonautica playlist, you'll see and and. I was having problems with that camera that I was using and it was always not recording when it looked like it was and I didn't catch the visual of this girl running away and there was a pentagram burning candles on the ground but this is the letter um, and it's the same area that I found this in so um, I'm assuming it's probably the same person. But this is um, the letter stating how that she or he uh, wanted you to write the letter of intent to the universe. Um, and I wanted to make sure I was following what these instructions were. So I'm getting everything ready. And here in a minute, I'm going to show you I have everything out. I have my letter written. Um, it is personal, so you never want to show or reveal to anyone your letter of intent to the universe. So I am going to start my letter and get things ready. Um, and then here in a second, you'll see clips from where I found the owl. And then I'll also put the full video up in the pinned comments below. Something to do with moon. And I am right on it. Huh. We have, well, it's kind of shaped like a moon. A beat up water bottle. I'm like, I'll tell you when I'm on the pin. Whoop, went too far. Up. <laughs> Stand back. No matter what I do, I'm not. Oop. What is this? I don't think that has anything to do with it. Real quick side note, this area people have planted trees designated to their loved ones that have passed away. I gotta be careful because there is poison ivy and out poison oak out here and oh my god, there's an owl. Guys, there's an owl out here. Now there's no um, trees planted. You guys see the owl? I'm sure you do. I almost didn't see it. He's just barely away from the pin. Let me put my phone in my purse. <sighs> Look at that. When he's sitting here. 
It's got tape on it. What the heck? Okay, wait a minute. Let me set you guys down. You know, I go around and I <laughs> quite a bit. And I don't normally find anything. Let me get my gloves. I'm not touching anything without gloves. <gasps> I better get two. One for each hand. There's like a Ziploc bag. You see that? That looks like a Ziploc bag. And tape. And how is that? Because Brandon Attica is an owl. This is like a... Oh my god, that's like... Well... And this is what's in there, like two little packages. It's got a note in the baggie. It's got a note. It says, if it's treasure you seek, oh, somebody's a poet here. You have found your plunder, your curiosity and keen eye brings you to wealth Wealth untold inside the pouch. But there are rules you see if you want this to go further. Read the poem inside on the next moon full. It, moon. Moon. It says moon, guys. I don't know if I'm aiming this. Take the owl. Don't be weak. Keep the money tucked up under. Money? What money? Hold it in place of pride and it will bring you abundance untold. And it's signed E.G. What money? Wait. Wait. You hear that? Okay. Let's go ahead, guys. You know what? Let's take this back to my car. I'm uncomfortable opening. That feels like coins. Let's just take a quick peek. I don't want to take something to my car that's going to blow up. I'm trying to get this open. like tied. Ah, I almost pulled my things off. Ah. Look, guys. Guys. Oh, there's, there's bills. Ah. Dollars. There's like a quarter, nickel, penny. That's from the Gold colored silver dollars. Okay. Ooh, a dollar, five dollars, ten. No way, guys. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, let's put this back in here. I'm going to take this to my car and see what the other note says. Okay, it said something about take the owl. Okay, let's take this to my car. And we'll inspect this at my car. Look at that beautiful full moon. It was quite cloudy out. Um, we didn't get a storm, but the wind was blowing. So, thought I'd show you the moon.
So my letter of intent is finished and I am now uh, doing is the um, the note instructed folding it and you're seeing things backwards from what I'm actually doing because of the way my camera films and my camera does not have the option to turn or whatever it just does it so you're gonna see things that look like I'm doing it in the opposite direction I am um, and um, so I've done letters of intent before and I've done candle magic before so um, yeah doing these things um, are nothing new to me uh, the intent and how she or he had it written is pretty basic um, and easy to follow. So I went ahead and did exactly as the note said. And you'll see that I set it up. And if you listen to what I said in the video where I, when I found all this, um, I am following their instructions. So. I prefer using a wooden match when I light candles when I'm setting intentions, but I did not have any left, so I'm using a lighter, and this candle, I couldn't find a green candle, so I made one from um, the little wax melt blocks that you buy, and um, I poked a hole down through two of them, used the wick from a votive candle, put it up through, and then I used melted wax from another one of these blocks to seal the two of these together. And I'm um, setting intentions to the candle so that when I use the wax later to seal the note and to set intentions to the money when I drip the wax across the money also. I want you to look real close at the candle. It has a purple halo around the flame. When you see that, when you're doing any sort of candle magic, that is showing that um, whatever intention you're setting to that is actually working and that is a very good sign. Uh, I'm really pleased that I could see that even in the um, in the video you can pick that up and in pictures you could pick up that purple halo. That's a really good sign that the intention I set to that candle is is working. I cut this down so that you weren't sitting here waiting five minutes along with me. After the five minutes, I went ahead and I dripped um, candle wax on the note to seal the note with the intention as per the, the letter 
um, that was with Al and along with dripping it onto the money also. Um, don't worry about there being a little tiny bit of wax on the money. It comes right off. It's not harming the money. Um, you guys are all out there putting um, hand sanitizer on the money, which is actually destroying the coins. Check out the coins in your pocket sometime. You can tell which ones have been rubbed with hand sanitizer. I came out during the night a couple of times to check on it. Um, these are some of the little short video clips I took. Um, I don't remember what times I came out, but that one time I came out and that owl was like staring at me. I was like, oh my gosh. It looks like a frog. See its little hand, its little nose. How cool. So this is what it looks like this morning. And it's funny, it don't look quite like a frog this morning. But that's how it, uh, really strange okay everybody so this is going to be the end of the video thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a most awesome day um, and we'll go ahead and um, see what happens thanks everybody have a good night, good day. Um, I'm not sure when I'm putting this out, but I think I'll keep this little fella. He's not little, he's quite big. But I think I'll keep him. Bye guys, thanks for watching.